it gives us it gives us a lot more meaningful gameplay we can we can play with. So Brent will start the quantum travel in a second. What will happen then is your quantum drive will initiate the jump. You will see an effect that distorts the space around you, and you will accelerate forward. During the acceleration process, and this, so this is the time until you actually re reached your cruise speed, the ship will experience forces, and you as a player, you're responsible to counter these forces. So there is an element of failure. Okay, Brent, um, let's show that. And take your hands off. So what you just saw is basically the failed attempt to quantum travel. Brad wasn't countering the forces, therefore he was thrown out, the, the quantum bubble collapsed and threw you out. Your ship doesn't like that. IFCS needs five, six seconds to recover from that, during which time you, uh, you're, just, you're just tumbling, right? So, um, so, and this is not just uh, like dependent on your, on your skills. If you think selecting a proper quantum drive doesn't matter in the future, <laughs> Think again. You want to take care of your quantum drive. You want to repair it and keep it in good shape. So if you buy a cheap one, your travel will not necessarily be faster, but it might be harder. Okay, so Brent, show us how it's done properly. You can now go hands off. Okay, so there's a second variant of quantum travel, and this is for short range jumps. Sometimes you jump somewhere or you go somewhere, and you, and you see the next point of interest is like 1200 kilometers away. We're not going to force you anymore to travel that by hand. You will use a technique called quantum boosting. It's a quantum-based short-range jump for like something between a couple of hundred kilometers to like 30,000 kilometers or so. When you use quantum boosting, the process is practically the same, but the quantum bubble will not stabilize itself. So you need to be hands-on for, for the whole time. And the speeds are naturally, well, slower. But it's not slow. It's still quantum traveling, right? Okay, so Brent, can you boost to... Uh... Oh, reinforcement needed. Yeah, let's go there. Let's boost. Oh, actually, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what Brent is currently um, <laughs> showing here is a thing I forgot to mention. Quantum boosting works in every direction. You don't need nav points. Brent is awesome, thank you. Okay, so now, please boost to reinforcements needed. So if there's enough points and you boost, your quantum travel system will pick that knife point to go to. Welcome to Pyro 3. As you can see, there's a lot of UI happening right now. There's a lot of context there. And this is not an online demo. It's a single 